Well, I'm gonna get my finger all over the phone. Yeah. So it's uh, January 10th, and we didn't do anything yesterday, and we've got our coats on. Got our coats on because it's cold outside, and we're gonna go out and uh, do a little something today, see what the day brings. Uh, it's, they said it's 30, 32, something like 31, something like that, but it feels like 20. Uh, so I guess it's 20. Um, it looked like a lot of blowing snow last night, but I guess it just blew out of town because it's just a little dusting out there. But anyway, more to come. We're gonna go and uh, just try to, to be productive in some way today. I'm actually gonna go to some guitar stores and look around and she's uh, gonna try to find some things. Maybe I'll drop her off at Hobby Lobby and, and uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we're gonna look and see how the day goes. We don't know. We're just gonna go do some things. So um, that's where we're headed on January 10th in Braxton, Illinois. So if you're looking behind me, you can see all the guitars. I just bought one though at a, at a pawn shop. And if you look up here at these two, I can't stretch the video anyway. They're Paul Reed Smith PRSs. And I just bought a Paul Reed Smith Custom 24. Uh, the white one there is going for uh, 1759 and the blue one next to it is 949 and when I went to the pawn shop the guitar I looked at was um, online 849 or something like that and they were asking 499 in the pawn shop with the case and I said do you negotiate and, and the ladies I said first I said who's the manager and she said, I'm the manager. I said, do you negotiate? And she says, well, what do you want? I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, what do you want to pay? I said, I said, well, I want to pay $3.99. And she says, okay. She says, I'll sell it to you for $350 plus tax. I said, deal. So I got me a blue Paul Reed Smith solid body 24 custom. This will be my fourth Paul Reed Smith that I've owned. I'm hoping I'll hang on to this one. It also does have push-pull. If you're not familiar with push-pull, that is where you can pull the knob and it changes the sound of the pickup. So, so say for instance, if this guitar here has push-pull here, then it changes the pickup and goes from, you know, instead of two, it's just one. It gives you half the sound. It changes the sound of your guitar. So I'm in here looking at all these guitars uh, just for fun. Samantha's at the Hobby Lobby and uh, they just go on for days, days and days and days, guitars. And you know what? That's just the lower row. They go up and they continue all the way across the building. So I'm gonna continue to look around here. I'm just kind of burning my time and let her have some time to shop. So. It's a done deal. I've got the guitar. I think it may need to tighten the truss rod to make sure that the neck is totally straight, but uh, no, no problems, no issues, no scratches, nothing. Nice guitar. So I got three other guitars I'm wanting to sell. So I hope that'll happen soon. Well, we just got back from a day of shopping. 3.37, I don't know what time we left. Uh, the first pawn shop I was gonna go to uh, is out of business. It was a big place, they had a lot of stuff. I don't know if they all just, they sold everything they owned, they went to Florida, I don't know. But the phone was just busy, busy, busy. So we drove past and nothing. So, went to the next pawn shop and there was a bunch of stuff in there, and that's why I ended up getting what I got. I'll go through that in a minute. But we also, I sent her in the Hobby Lobby uh, to do her shopping while I was doing that. And uh, 
We ended, she did get something, it's it's in the bag. Uh, but we ended up at the Goodwill and found a little table and a little chair. So, a little table, it's got a glass top and a little stool. She's got a stool, but it's too big. It's even too wide. So she'll take the stool and she'll recover it and paint it and have a little cute stool. Everything we find is not perfect for us at the time, so we end up doing our own little thing about it. Painting it or doing whatever. Anyway, more to come. $899 and I got it for $350. Can't go wrong there. So, yeah. That's what it is. So that's the guitar. It's called a PRS, Paul Reed Smith. And, uh, like I said, about an 800 something dollar guitar, and that's without the case. So I got a, I don't know, the case is probably about $89 or so. And then uh, the rest of the guitar got some glue on it. I got to get some, it had a sticker on it. This, uh, I hope, turns out to be my main guitar. It's got the little birdies all over the neck. I had something like this before a long time ago, and it was so brand new and so fancy I was afraid to play it uh, this will be okay though because I bought it used that helps me feel less insecure about it it's got a few years on it's not it's not um, dented or dinged or nothing though so <sighs> we're back from our little trip got our Amazon came in it was sitting on the front door really cold outside yet and we've been listening to the news on the way home about different things going on around the world. Um, it's not a very, it's not a great, not a great bunch of things going on right now in the world. It's not the world I used to know. But we'll look up 